I'm Eduardo Sandoval, and in behalf of my team, I will present today a paper titled A Visual Impaired User Experience Using a 3D Enhanced Facility Management System for Windows Navigation. If the title is not descriptive enough, I have some slides to share with you. Our system aims to assist visually impaired users, BIUs, to navigate in complex indoor environments. We also aim to support emergency response, security response, and assist the everyday management of these kind of facilities. Also, we aim to provide certain advantages over existing systems like the guide dogs or the white canes with this new approach. Our system presents certain novelty. One is the navigation data collected to interact with the 3D models of the building in the Kensington campus, and that allow us to design navigation paths that can be visualized by remote users in a remote location using a 340 cylindrical screen in that location. And in comparison, regular indoor navigation systems just rely in 2D floor maps. Our system consists in four big models. One is a mapping system, merging existing 3D mappings of the building, a path planning on the 3D models, which allow us to know the navigable areas in the facility, an indoor localization and navigation system that is in contact with the user and provides assistance to reach significant points in the building. And finally, the visualization system. We test with one user this system. The design proposal that we have in mind is to provide a mobile phone with an app. So that makes the system portable, minimal, discreet, and aims to not create interference with the social interaction of the user. We tested in the building called Red Center Building in the lower ground and the mezzanine, which is in a space of 400 square meters and 5.5 meters height. We implement 21 anchors in the area in order to assist the navigation of the user and most important, we ask an expert EIU for her assistance in order to assess the experience. The insights that we obtain of this first test of the system is that our system is consistently compared with the existing system, the guide dog. So this comparison is always in terms of responsiveness and agility. We believe that training can help us to reach similar degrees of acceptability of our system. Secondly, we underestimate the speed of the users, of expert users navigating in unfamiliar systems. They certainly are faster than what we thought. Then we need to agree in what kind of reference unit we need to use to assist the users navigating in this kind of spaces. Firstly, we were using steps, but we consider that meters as a standard unit can be also helpful. And finally, we developed this app that is used in this mobile phone with our Bluetooth uh, headset, but that implies that one hand of the user is busy uh, held in the device and the other hand uh, at the moment is also busy uh, held in the guide dog. So in the future, we aim to explore uh, other options like wearables or smart watches. The future work of this project involves improvements and uh, in latency, accuracy, and reliability. So we implement um, a larger uh, study um, applying the task log index and at least 20 participants. And of course, we are looking for um, side applications like robot navigation in indoor spaces. What we aim with this first stage of research is deliver a crafted user experience for these future studies. Thank you so much. See you in the next ICMI 2021, hopefully with a full paper, greetings from down under.